Hi, this is Lisa from the Enchanted Oven, and I'm going to talk about painting on sugar cookies today. This is a really easy project to do and a lot of fun. It's very similar to painting with watercolors on paper. The only difference is, is that you use a cookie as your canvas or watercolor paper, and you use food colorings instead of paint. So let me start off with what you're going to need to do this project. You're going to need food coloring gels. Um, you could also use the regular kind of food coloring that you find at the grocery store, but I prefer to use the gels, either AmeriColor Gel or Wilton. The colors are more concentrated, they go a long way, and it's easier to blend the colors if you're looking for a custom mix. The other thing you need are paint brushes, and I've got a couple of different kinds here. Uh, I got this little set, I believe, at Marshall's, and I love it because the bristles are so small and tight. The only thing you need to know about brushes is that they have to be used only for food. You can't uh, go out to your husband's workbench and pull something off that's been soaked in turpentine or has been in paint. So you want to use brushes that are only for foods. Then this is a little... Uh, palette of mine and you could use a paper uh, paper plate it works perfectly well just something that you can squeeze your food colorings onto which I've already done here I have some paper towels to dot off my paintbrush with and I have some water to rinse my brush with so let's get started and I thought I would show you how to make a shamrock because St. Patrick's Day is nearby and it's also a very easy easy shape to do so I'm going to start off with wetting my brush, dabbing it to get the excess water off, and I'm sticking it here in the green food coloring. I don't want to get too much on there. A little goes a very long way. You don't want to use too much water because it can actually start dissolving the icing. So I'm tapping off the excess. And what I'm going to do to make a shamrock is to simply do a heart shape. and I think anybody can do a heart shape. Then you're going to make the heart shape on another side and then on the third side. And then I'm going to just get a little bit more and pull it down to make a stem. And that is a simple shamrock. Now, Something I oftentimes like to do when I'm working with food coloring paint is to add in just a little bit of another color. I, I do this with icing too when I'm piping. It just gives a little bit of extra interest and dimension. So I'm going to pull in a little bit of my white food coloring. And yep, in case you didn't know, there is such a thing as white food coloring. It's great. I use it all the time. And I'm just going to add a little accent of white up at the tops of the shamrock's leaves. Just livens things up a little, gives it a little more interest. And there you go. You could make, I could use my small paintbrush and make tiny shamrocks all over in sort of a um, wallpaper effect. So really the great thing about this technique is that you can make it as complicated as you want or as easy as you want. If you want to do small designs, like I said, these tiny brushes are great to use, but have fun with it. Uh, this is also something that children could do pretty easily. And really, you just need a light color of icing to go on top of. I did a little royal icing border just because I thought it added a little bit of interest to it, but you certainly don't need to do that. So I hope you give this a try and meet me back at the Enchanted Oven blog and there will be more painted cookies for you to see. And if you try this, let me know how it works out. Thanks. See you next time.